Hey guys, Chuke here with Chuke's Outdoor Adventures. Wanted to do a review on this 300 Win Mag I got. Um, really happy with it. Uh, I was initially a little confused because the guy I got it from said it was a Savage 10 slash 110 HS Precision. On the barrel it just says 110 300 Win Mag, um, but I've seen both online. Um, so I guess it's just the 110 FCP HS Precision 300 Win Mag, but I really like it. Um, the biggest thing about it is the, the HS Precision stock. It's a, their tactical law enforcement series. It's got the, the tactical stock, it's heavy duty, fiberglass stock, aluminum embedded. I really like it. The price point on these things uh, nowadays is probably about $900, maybe 1000 the heaviest part of this gun is is this heavy uh, carbon steel bull barrel, you know, 24 inch, um, and and so the the rifle's heavy. It's nine pounds without the scope. I've got this Vortex Viper. It's actually the first Viper I've ever had on here, and it's really nice. I've only added that and a bipod, so it's pretty nice. I mean, just just running through it. It's, it's got the adjustable Accu trigger, which is, feels really good. It's a really nice trigger. Um, oversized bolt handle. Uh, the detachable box magazine, I'm not real thrilled on because it doesn't uh, match some of their other rifles. So you, I haven't been able to find any aftermarket magazines for it where I could get a five rounder or a 10 rounder. It's, it's just these little three round box magazine so it's three plus one and you have to get the the exact magazine that fits this um, but what I did with this rifle is is I wanted to make a Chris Kyle uh, replica rifle now obviously this doesn't look anything like his 300 wind mag but it does look a lot like his his TAC 338 that he had 338 um, minus the the muzzle brake on top there um, and what I did is I just rattle canned it. I've been having a lot of fun rattle canning guns this year. So I just, you know, got the FDE camo spray paint, desert sand, whatever. Rattle canned it. Um, and then what was a, a cool addition I made is I got the, the, tan, the sand colored uh, duct tape. And I had one of these foam inserts for uh, a cheek rest, um, another cheek rest that had already traded away or something, but I still had the foam insert. It fit perfectly on top here, and then I put the duct tape on it, but it looks really nice. And after the paint wears off, after a while, it's going to look even nicer. So let me know what you guys think. Um, for Alaska, it, it's, it's definitely heavy for some of the hunts I go on, but I still want to hunt with it. Um, you know, the 300 Win Mag is is small. It's not it's not really part of the family of the dangerous game rifles like the really big you know 338 on up, but it'll do the job. I've got plenty of friends who hunt with three 300 Win Mag and they take giant bears and moose every year with their 300 Win Mag. So I'm I'm confident in it and um, I'll definitely do some hunting with it. Uh, but it's going to be more of like my road hunting and car camp hunting where. Um, I'm not hiking three miles back into the mountains because that would kill me. Although I've done it before with heavy rifles like this. I'd rather not if, if I can just do something that's a little closer to the road or maybe get dropped off and hunt from the beach. It, so there are a few hunts I can do with this. I'm absolutely going to take it because it's, it's more accurate than I am, that's for sure. I'm just testing it out. I pulled a couple of the shots, but I, um, I had the you know, two of the bullets right on top of each other in the paper, and then I would pull the third one every time. But uh, very accurate, especially with this scope. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. It's Chew, your friend in the field. Uh -oh.